Good morning, Plum here, playing World of Tanks, and I am sitting back in my armchair, kind of relaxing, watching a couple more replays, so we're doing another head-to-head. -head. This time it's Tier 8 Tank Destroyers. First one is Leonzi in his ISU-152. Looking at the size of that gun, I think we can assume he's probably got the uh, BL-10 slapped on the front. That thing is capable of an average damage of 750 with average penetration with aim piercing at 286 millimeters. It will wreck you if it hits you. That's the whole point of this gun. Um, but it's got a pretty slow rate of fire, as we're probably going to see. You've got to, you know, keep it balanced somehow. That thing could not fire quickly. Um, got a new sound effect for when I see something I like. You're going to hear this noise. <gasps> <laughs> it just made me laugh when I heard it. It's supposed to be someone gasping. So when I hear that, you'll see a uh, and hear a sound effect. <gasps> <laughs> that guy! Oh, that poor guy hit for 731. And he's dead. Came over the ridge far too quickly. Leonzi here has decided to sit back and uh, kind of rock this ridge line. This little ridge here was built for tank destroyers. You've got trees in front of you, a bit of a dip to lull back into you once you've taken your shot and you're reloading. It's perfect. So his team's got a pretty good spread, nothing unusual going on, looking at the mini-map. Everyone's gone where everyone needs to go to, really. We've got our little uh, SP-1C. Oh, the side! The side! <laughs> that was just absolutely perfect. You don't often get a nice clean side shot at the side of a Tier 10. <laughs> heavy tank so uh, I think he's probably exceedingly pleased with how this is going so far two shots fired 1400 damage done and we're gonna get another one in the side of his turret oh, he went for the tracking shot <laughs> 850 that rolled really high we are still using the uh, standard ammunition at the moment holy smokes oh we don't get a shot <laughs> I think every time this gun fires, I'm going to press the button because of the damage he's doing on every single shot. 3,000 damage done. Holy smokes. Is it time to push up? He's got a glut of his own friendly tanks all in front of him now. I think the enemy team are going to be dumb if they come over that ridge. They know how many tanks are here, and yeah, he's read the map well, in my opinion. <laughs> Not that my opinion counts for very much. Well, someone's asking in chat, is the SP-1C fast? Kind of. It, yeah, that's what the, no, someone said, kind of. Yeah, that's what I think. It's kind of. Come on, get the kill, get the kill, get the kill. Actually, the next replay is of a Yag Panther 2, and look what the Yag Panther 2 was able to do. He seemed to aim that right into the gun mantlet, and it, it seemed to bounce or something. Maybe it missed. I'm not sure. So, Leonzi's pushing up. They've lost four, we've lost two. Definitely the right decision to push this front now. The front of our battle has moved forward to this next ridge line. You've got to keep your eye on the minimap and sort of be aware of these things if you're going to be in the right position in TDs. Rather than dictate the battle, you're just kind of supporting your medium and heavy tanks as they decide to push up. Come on, get that gun down on one of these bad boys. Just crest that ridge. you just got to look a little silhouette of a tank. Maybe go up a little bit further. Use those bushes on the right, perhaps. You do not want to get hit by Jagdpanzer E100. That would be a bad day. He's fired. But we can't get the gun down. The gun depression's letting us down. So he's going to crest the ridge. Aim, aim, fire. It bounced off the front of the <laughs> Unbelievable. Pull back, reload. We're going to rinse and repeat. If we can pen him, he's dead. But he can one-shot us, that Jagdpanzer E100. They're perfectly capable of doing over a thousand damage in one hit. So the Batchat's going in to distract. Is the Yangpan's E100 turning? He is! Oh, he's utterly glorious! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm not even counting how many of these I've done. Probably how many other shots he's fired, but he's missed a couple. So he's done one, two, he's done five shots at a pen, so I imagine he's got five gasps so far. <laughs> Every time he fires and he hits, I can't help myself. He's got two kills. The enemy team has crumbled in the last two minutes. The team has done really well. To oh, can we get a shot on that bat chat? 
Can we? Can we? We're reloaded. We're ready to fire. Don't miss. <laughs> oh, I love it. What a machine. I can't believe I've played this game for nearly four and a half, going on nearly five years, I guess, and I haven't got an ISU-152. <laughs> that gun is so troll. <laughs> the Batchat driver says he saw that shot coming, but he just couldn't dodge it. He was on uh, an uphill slope. He was had been stationary, he just couldn't get his tank moving. Caught out in the open. That's a bit like warships. <laughs> you get caught out in the open sea without an island near you to get behind. And you have two enemy ships firing at you. You're generally dead, unless you're in a destroyer that can lay smoke and manoeuvre. Same thing applies to tanks. Get caught out in the open. You're going to get tracked, probably, at least. So we're chasing down the bat chat. Can we do any more last minute damage? We've got three kills. Had a cracking game. We've had uh, over 4,000 damage. He's He's hit every shot he's fired, but he's got a couple of bounces. One off the Yagpan for two, one off the front of the Yagpan 3100. I think it starts with Yagpans if he has trouble. And so rolling over into the next replay, and this is the Night's End. I think this is the first on the... Uh, actually, has Leonzi been on the uh, Head to Head videos yet? I cannot remember. I've done quite a few of these now. Anyway, so definitely a first, I think, for the Night's End is Buddy. Zeta Thionics. He was in one recently, just a couple of weeks ago, and I think he won his. So well, let's see if they can uh, pair up in this one. They are in a platoon, so I just saw them both and they had very similar XP and damage done. So you know, you know what kind of thing's going to happen because <laughs> you just saw the first game. But um, anyway, we're going to follow the Knight's End in his Yag Pant for two. A recently purchased tank myself, and I do enjoy playing it. I think I do enjoy playing it more than the Ferdinand. So I'll probably get the Ferdinand again one day when it's on sale. Had to sell it to buy this because I've spent all this time playing the game and never had the uh, pleasure of playing the Yag Panther 2 and it is awesome machine. Gets around really quickly, bounces a lot of shots as you'd expect with a slopey armour and does uh, the same damage output as the Ferdinand, I think they've got the same top gun. So they're going off together, we've got Type 64 moving off in front, that's good news. Now I think, I haven't counted up yet but I think uh, Leonzi got six scarfs, I think. Maybe he got seven. I'm not sure. I'm keeping tally on this one. <laughs> It'll help me at the very end to uh, work out what has gone on in these two matches. It's the thing with TD matches. I think I'll be pressing the button every time I get a hit. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. But uh, that's just the way it rolls. If I like it, I hit the button. So his buddy... Zeta is pushing up forwards to get some early spots. Now I had a pretty decent game from this exact same position the other day. I was in... Was that my Ferdinand or my Rymatile? I'm not entirely sure which it was, but uh, yeah, one tank up at that rock. Me sat back here. They kept coming out to try and get that other tank and I just kept hurting them when they came around the corner. We did lose in the end, but it was a very good uh, tactical situation. He was the carrot and I was the stick. They got a Panther 2, we're just taking a bounce from the Panther 2. I guess they could get eyes on him. Oh, there's a nice little shot through the glimmer in that rock. I think if you looked a bit harder. Yeah, there you are, there you are. Hit it. Smack him. <laughs> oh, we didn't manage to get the uh, penetrating shot, but he is tracked. So if he sits there just long enough, we might be able to get a pin. Come on. <gasps> yes. We're off and running. Good shot. There is not much to shoot through in that little slot there. You're only looking at probably one third of the tank. So that was good stuff. Okay, we've got an Indian Panzer. I'm looking at the minimap. An Indian Panzer moving up on our left flank. Got to be cautious of that. Can we get into a slightly better position, mate? Because I think we could go around to the right a bit. We might have to get shots on that. Maybe that Panther too. Yeah, no, you're probably right. Better off staying here. It's just that little gully, that little V between two rocks. I think Zeta's spotted the Indian Panzer moving up. I don't think the Indian Panzer knows that uh, he's here. Come on, push across the ridge, across the ridge. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, that, he did rush that shot then. That did actually uh, go where he aimed it, and it was not a spot on aim. Come on, reload, reload. Our oh, side of it. <gasps> that's better, that's better. I'm enjoying that kind of shot. Yeah, can we destroy the SU? Be lovely if he reappeared. How did that Indian Panzer go past these two Yag Panthers and not get destroyed? Oh dear, our teammate. 
in the uh, AD8 is not happy with his with these two guys. So far we've done a thousand damage. And we know he's gonna get a lot more. I can only assume he's gonna wreck these guys that come around this corner when they come after his buddy. Come on. That's really hard aiming when you're looking through thick foliage and you can't see what you're aiming at. Oh, it's that's really tricky because you can't because it keeps coming in and out of the uh, silhouette you get around the tank the outline you're just never sure whether it's a clear shot or not that's better you've got to see what you're aiming at you can't not so there's only four tanks left now the team has crumbled pretty much we've got an IS-3 right over in the north nice <gasps> and he's on fire that was perfect he's having two for that to get the shot and get the fire at the same time. KB2 rolls up. I'm not going to give him for every single shot. To be fair. And Zeta does a nice job there. Keeping himself uh, in the game. Panther 2 decides to push. I think you can get a shot on that Panther 2 mate. If you just crest the ridge a little bit. Help out your buddy. I think you got to do it. you got to help him. got to keep him alive. Oh, I'll be shooting at the guy shooting at your buddy. We're taking out our decisions now. Nice job. That was a bit of a snapshot actually at that little target. Up to five. <laughs> five gasps. Oh, that was good. I mean, that, that, was, that, I, that was a good shot. It wasn't completely revealed, that tank. So at that kind of range, though, it is deadly accurate, the Egg Panther 2. Now they can go after the KV-2 and finish him. We are loaded. <laughs> we did that in first person. I like it. Bit of an easy kill there. Massive target at close range. I'm, uh, I'm not gasping for that. We are pushing up. We're going back to base. We've got just over a minute to get there. Our T-34-1 should be able to get there. And at least disrupt, hopefully. And this is perfect, really, because you can come down. Hopefully they, they'll see this. T-34 coming, and they'll all be focused on him. How much hit points has our T-34 got? That T-34 is full health. T-34-1 medium tank. Eh, yeah, he's got half. He'll be a two shot. Good choice. Come in behind them. This is where you'd struggle a bit in the Ferdinand. It's not as quick as the Yang Panther. Managed to disrupt the cap. This is going really well. I think he would have had time to get here anyway. If that was a last minute clench to stop the cap, I might have gasped. <laughs> Gotta get eyes on. Oh, the T-34's positioned himself well. The T-34's playing well. He knows that there's a pair of Yag Panthers. Oh, he's a one-shot. Zeta's a one-shot for the T-34. Knight's End is trying to figure out how he can get shots down on this guy without giving away his position and his strength of his position. Doesn't really want to go down there because he can't kill him. Between them, they've probably got the hit points. Oh, he's come out behind him, so now he can go back in. Oh, and he just moves out of... <laughs> oh, you hate it when that happens. <gasps> nice. That was a really important shot to get off then. He needed to do that. Come on, kill him. Nice job. That's a really good job. I'm not going to go ask him just did one. <laughs> and it was a medium range shot. Well, close close to medium range so uh, it was always going to land I think what's going to happen next IS-3, ah oh, it's a full health IS-3 ok it's just our pair of platoon partners left now, 6 kills between them can they pull this off oh, I didn't quite hit it right on the front of the cheek the angle he was at, he might well have... Oh, is he, can the IS-3 still see him? Are we going to take a hit? Nice shot. <gasps> Long range. It would have been nice if he could track him then. Out in the open, that would have been good. Might have given himself another chance. Ah, oh, this full health IS-3 is trouble. Good stuff. His buddy gets 324 in. Manages to bounce. And he's been spotted, he's going to take a hit, I think. He's going to take a hit. And it does do damage. 
God, this is coming to a tense ending, this fight. Love to see what's going on with the other guy. That was good <gasps> stuff. Manages to kill him. Now he can go down here and help his buddy. Zeta's still in this match. The IS-3 is caught between two Yag Panther 2s. Not what an IS-3 wants. Do not... Oh, I was going to say, don't clench the shot. His buddy's died. I mean, that <gasps> that deserves a go. Because of what just happened. It, it all worked for the IS-3 then. All he's got to do now is just keep that IS-3 in front of him and he's dead, hopefully. Couple more seconds. Couple more seconds. That's it. Aim it, aim it, aim it. Perfect. Ah. How did he not die? How did he not die? <laughs> Ah. Ah. ah, what a game. Yeah, <laughs> what he just said. Oh my god, into the uh, post-game stats. Oh my god. So it's not going to take a uh, rocket scientist to work out which of the winners that was in that match. That was obviously going to always be after watching it, the night's end. Well done, mate. Sorry, Leon Z, but uh, I have no idea what's going to happen in these two matches. And uh, you both got very similar damage and very, very similar XP. You put them together and you just don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes they're very, very similar. Sometimes they're a bit more of a gulf. I'm afraid that was a bit more of a gulf. That was a much more uh, thrilling match in the end. You were able to derp it around though, Leonzi, with your ISU 152. Nailing almost every single shot, it seemed. And uh, wrecking things as it went along. The uh, the Knight's End and his Jack Panther 2, working with his buddy. Is it fair to put a platoon match against a single... You just don't know. Sometimes platoon players just split up and they just don't work together. And it's just... I should be able to tell from the scores. I, I could tell that they were going to do well together. But um, uh, you put them on, you watch them and here we are. Just... You're on the channel. <laughs> what more can I say? There's always got to be a uh, second place, I'm afraid. Um, so, quick glance at these scores here. They both took home similar credits, actually. Uh, you're never sure what the modifiers are doing. Where it's a special event or something. So let's roll over to the team scores and uh, Knight's End he picked up 1327 XP Leondi picked up 1253 XP which is really good going actually because uh, the Knight's End seemed to do a lot more in his game in the end he did do more damage too only another 500 but then you probably got to argue that uh, Leonzi with his ISU 152 does have a higher alpha gun it pumps out nearly uh, you know 300 more damage per shot so it's always going to stand to logic that the Yak Panther 2 game is probably going to be a bit more exciting maybe because you've got to work so much harder to get that amount of damage done only firing on average sort of 550 damage per shot rather than 850. Some of his are rolling over 900. Um, so you're just going to be fighting a lot more in the Yak Panther 2. So I've got to bear that in mind for the future. I'm living and learning as always. Um, but you can see very similar uh, damage and XP scores which is kind of the point. Um, but yeah, well done Knight's End, that was a really cracking match, um, props to your friend there, Zeta Fionix, he's managed to pull out another sort of semi-victory by supporting you. It's always great when there's just a pair of platoon mates left at the end, you're never quite sure what's going to happen. Um, and well, you obviously got the uh, correct XP because you got a um, hero medal, so that modifier creates the same XP you would get as if you were on the winning team, and you can see he actually came top on both teams even though he was on the losing team. Um, yeah, great games. Really, really pleased with those two. I wanted to find a couple that I could find really quickly, so I was at the top of my emails, <laughs> not going deep into the dark history, which I do sometimes. Um, these were sent very recently, 9.9 .9 replays, as you can see down here. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gasps. <laughs> I think we got about four or five more for the uh, Yag Panther 2 game. What I'll do is on the replay, I'll leave Leonzi's gasps up on the top left, and we'll then get the uh, Night's End's gasps up on the top right. And uh, hopefully you'll see why I chose the Knight's End. I think it's obvious why I chose the Knight's End match over the Leonzi's. But uh, both well played matches and uh, plenty of tank strengths it seems. Um, I've now got an itch to go and play my Yag Panther 2. Which I'm going to do probably maybe in just a minute. Quick look at the detailed report. And you can see that uh, the Yag Panther 2 lives up to its reputation. Blocking 1190 hit points worth of damage. Which is uh, what you'd expect from that machine when it's playing frontally on. Tanks will pen on the sides easy, but when it's when you're attacking these things from the front, they're quite tricky to pen. Uh, not say so the case with the ice shoot one vote. I don't think he even really got shot at, did he? In the end. Um, so yeah, that's just a nice little comparison to make between the two machines. This can brawl it, not so much the ice shoot if it gets spotted and uh, shot at. Good stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, then uh, please consider pressing the like button. It does help me. If you enjoy my videos, please press it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I don't know if I'm mentioning these things. I think if a channel's good, a channel's good. And it's going to grow all on its own just by word of mouth. 
but uh, a little self-marketing never hurt anybody. Okay, keep your heads down, drink plenty of water, and I'll play tanks again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.